How's it going everybody? I'm back and um, after I made the video of the double Lucians actually for the six star which of course they're not maxed out yet I still gotta max out the runes um, you know but anyways uh, after I made those uh, I got a lot of questions and stuff about how do I make so many six stars and um, and stuff like these you know I've got 22 I believe making my way towards 25 then I'll be at 30 um, slowly making my way you know towards many many six stars so um, I get the question how do I make so many six stars and so quickly so I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown of um, basically how I do it um, and it doesn't take much it really doesn't uh, it, honestly Getting your first six star, you should be able to do it before like level 35, um, if you know the right tips to do it. Okay, so first off, you need a good place to do it at. All right. Now, I would say the number one spot would be Hideni or Tamor. So it really depends on which monsters you got and what you can work with. Uh, but like Hideni on Hell Mode stage five with all these water monsters, it is very easy to do it with uh, a wind based monster um, whereas Tamor you could do it I would say stage 3 with lots of fire and wind or stage 6 with lots and lots of wind and a little bit of fire uh, you could do it there too or stage 1 it just depends um, which one you like better stage 1 works too sorry I got it on hell mode now stage 5 has a lot of fire but uh, the main point is you're getting attribute advantage okay so stuff like this too um, you just really gotta be careful which uh, floors you do it on so now we gotta look at uh, farmers alright so monsters that have AOE's like this tax all enemies sorry this one tax all enemies and decreases attack age alright but it has to have good damage too so make sure it's an attack based monster okay um, there's some exceptions, but this is the main thing. Attack-based monster. Um, Verad, he is not an attack-based monster. Look how low his attack is. Okay, that would be not that would not be a good choice. Now, Tower, who is an attack-based monster, has a really good, nice attack and has an AOE. That's good, right? And he increases attack speed, stuff like that. That's good. Okay, leader skill is also really nice. So, um, but Theomars, who's single target. That's probably not a good idea. He can farm like Feymon, you know, um, but it's he's really slow, and that's not what you want. So these single target type monsters, it's not what you want. And you want to make sure it's damage AOE too, not like dots, like the continuous damage. You don't want that. Um, so Feymon is another spot that you'll be uh, able to farm Feymon stage one. But yeah, okay, so. If you don't have any natural four stars that are capable of doing it, like uh, Julian and stuff like that, um, you can actually do, you can five star Rauk, okay? Because look at this, good damage, like he, he does decent damage, he can team up, um, but he gains an extra turn if you kill the enemy. That's what makes him so fast. So if you bring him on like Tamor, right, uh, on like stage one or something, and he one hits almost every monster, um, it can be really, really fast. It, it really can. Um, but I'll show you how fast my... Like, so, let's just say I threw a Lucian in the mix. Oop. Okay, so let's say I threw a Lucian right here. I'll show you how fast he farms it. Depending on the AI, too, because sometimes AI is crap. Look, boom. Boom. And I still need to max out runes too. And he's done. Okay? That's it. Now it should go faster. He should be able to one shot every monster. Um, sometimes it just doesn't crit, maybe. You know, stuff like that. But that's not bad. Alright. Um, my Lagmarone, who's also at 100% crit, uh, can farm pretty fast. I need to max out, obviously, 
his skills as well as, well as tower. Uh, I can show you tower. Sometimes he cre uh, he can do it. It just depends if he gets defense breaked or not. Hopefully he doesn't. Now of course these are like monsters that you probably won't have, which is not a big deal. I'm just showing you like how, how fast like they should be able to clear it. And also the AI sometimes goes screwy, like using AOE on one person. That's just crap. <laughs> oh, I almost one-shotted the leader there. That's good, because they've got that crit buff, and that's no good. See, if they don't put the defense break, I'm good. But it's when they put the defense break on that really hurts me. But it's see how I have attribute advantage, so that's what really helps. there see and you get good stuff from famon too so but you want to farm hell mode okay the difference between exp and hell mode um from famon and hedeni is like 300 literally like 300 exp that's like nothing at all okay but you want aoe monsters all right so if you have like wind monsters like lucian um then go ahead and do hedeni Stage 5. Uh, if not, and you don't have any AoE monsters, I can really do it. You could do Tamor, um, Stage 1, uh, with Rauk and stuff like that. Or, if you have a Copper built up, if you build up Copper, he can actually farm in like 30 seconds. Stage 5. Um, he's pretty good too, right there. So, that always works. But, of course, if you're going to farm Feymon, you're going to need something better than a 3-star. You're going to need a 4-star monster. Tyrone can do it. Um... Really, just look for those AOE skills uh, and build them like a, with damage. You want to build them damage dealing, okay? And the whole point of this is that they do it fast so you can refill. So basically, the next step is EXP boosters. So you're going to want to buy an EXP booster. I usually just do one day. If you're going to be doing it for three days, um, you can if you want. It just depends if you're going to be staying up late and not getting a lot of sleep. Otherwise, it's just better to buy the one day EXP boosters. Um... Or, you know, you could do the three days. It, it, it does save you 100 crystals. It just, it really depends on how long you're going to stay up. But, yeah. So, you buy that. And then you go ahead and use it after all this stuff, you know. And, um, and basically you just keep, keep going. And if you run out of energy, you go over here to the cash shop and you recharge, okay. You want to do this. So, you're going to want about 800 to 1,000 crystals for this. And... Once you keep refreshing, uh, refilling the energy, you just keep farming and farming and farming, and you just keep doing it over and over. So you just run. You see, you noticed how I just did um, one. You know, see, he's only one in there, right? Well, you come over here and you put like three fodder ones, and they'll it'll split the exp between all four of them. So these three will get a bunch of exp, and they'll level up. And you just keep doing that over and over and over, and you refill energy. And the faster it is, the better because you can just. Um, get more runs in before your double exp runs out so that's always good and um you know you just keep doing it and you get a bunch of mana stones and yeah that's pretty much it i mean really the whole point of this is um getting someone fast enough to do it and so that you can re you know refill energy and you know even if you have a cases the cases can do hideni um pretty well and you want them to survive. You need to get the like the ending. Um, you want to get all the EXP, and you want to get the ending because you'll get like a rune or something, and then you can sell it for more mana stones, and then you can use those mana stones to level up the runes on the monster that you're just leveling up. You know. So that's that's basically it. That's that's literally all it is. So all of you people that keep you know freaking out over how to get six stars that's really it. it's just really tedious uh now you're probably wondering how do i how do i get fodder well you get a lot of unknown scrolls okay look at this i've got over five thousand all right that's how i do it i would probably have around i've got summon i'll probably do but i could probably have around six seven thousand maybe eight thousand if i didn't use those 
You've also got these uh, secret dungeons that you can use, of course, but I always keep at least one monster from every secret dungeon that I do that's not, you know, farmable, like these ones. I'll probably use him if I don't build him in, like, the next month. I'll probably just use him as fodder um, because you can always get those secret dungeons. But, like, these ones I keep one just in case. But, you know, these secret dungeons that come up, guys, these, uh, like, the mammoth and the shark, do them, and you get fodder, you know? Let's see, watch, let's see what we get. Nope, okay. So, you know, as you get scrolls and stuff like that, then, you know, you'll get fodder. You level up your fodder, then you level up your fodder with your other fodder um, to, like, four-star and then five-star, and then you make a six-star monster. And it probably takes about two to three days for me to make a six-star monster from scratch. Nothing, just like, just like this, just from scratch. Now, if I, like, summoned a bunch, it'd probably take me about a day of just, just one day of, um, double XP, so. Yeah, it's seriously that simple, guys. I know this is probably, like, not that, not super informational, but, um, literally, you just go to a spot that you can get, a uh, gain attribute advantage from. You really want to look for these ones that have only, like, one type of monster, like, these are all fire, and these are all water. And then you look for a monster that can gain attribute advantage over that with AoE skills. And that is damage dealing. And then you just level up fodders. Um, so if you guys have any questions, obviously, um, just leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and I'll try to get to them. Uh, and of course, you guys uh, just keep playing the game. It's really a lot of tedious work, but it's a lot of fun too. Oh, I want to show you guys really quickly before I go. I'll show you... Okay, this guy's ridiculous. Level 37. That guy's just spending a lot of money. Don't worry. Um, I want to show you my double Lucian team. But it's got to be on someone I can do it on. I've already fought him. I already beat his defense. I could do it on him. Seeing if there's better options. Oh yeah, I could do it on this easy. Let's hope the um, Bella Dion doesn't uh, strip my Lucians of their buffs. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Nope, you are screwed, mister. Bye-bye. Pretty good, especially because runes aren't maxed out. And my Seek is only 4 star. So, let me know what you guys think so far of my Devolution team. I think it's pretty good. Really easy to clear out stuff. So, alright guys. I, I hope you guys all enjoyed, obviously. And, um, you know, keep leveling up those 6 stars. 6 star monsters are super important. Uh, and you know what's even more important? Runes, okay? So keep farming those runes too. Alright guys, I will see you all later. And stay tuned for the stream. It's going to be tomorrow, the 14th at night. Um, as soon as TOA resets, I'm going to be doing one. Uh, I'm definitely going to be going for top 100. Uh, I've got the double illusion team ready to go. We should be able to auto up to like 60 with just the double illusions. And then we'll switch over to our tanky but fast team with the chimeras. So, alright guys, I will see you all later for the stream. Peace. Oh my god, it's going crazy. Ugh, of course, all my guild mates are going to be acting like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs>